Hello makers, it is Sunday morning and I had an awesome plan. I had this plan to release these awesome projects, you know, throughout one every week. Um, but things changed and the world has changed and currently everything is in a bit of chaos because of this virus. So all of my projects are currently on hold and I just had my printers running tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, well, I'm going to go harvest the prints overnight and explain to you exactly what's been going on. Stop day and night. I, I've set up every single printer that I could. Uh, I ran out of plugs before I ran out of printers. We need we need thousands of these. So Prusa 3D released these PPE face shields or visors, and um, the, the whole world currently is printing. If you've seen Joel's video, you, you probably know by now. Malta um, Invent 3D spearheaded this initiative to get all the makers together here in Malta to start printing these shields for the local hospital. For those of you that don't know, Malta offers free healthcare for all, so it's very important to help wherever we can. Now, we printed the Prusa version. Uh, they wanted a few changes, a few iterations, and three models later, we're here. Um, this is very similar to the Prusa release. However, it's slightly wider. The visor is a bit closer to the face. It's a bit more sturdy. Um, but yeah, this is the final design. And as you can see, for the past week, week and a half, all I've been doing is just printing. I've rearranged my office. I, I've set up all the printers downstairs in a way that I can work better. Um, so I, I can churn out roughly between 150 to 200 of these a day. After we harvest them, David, my bud David from Invent3D will go around the island and start doing a collection uh, where they will, uh, where he will take them to his company. They will be sanitized, they will be assembled, and then they will be delivered. We're trying to supply the local hospital, the armed forces, the police, 
police, the pharmacies, anyone else that would need these. And it's very important for us that we try to do this for free. We did manage to get some filament sponsored uh, by a few companies. We have about 130 kilos worth, which roughly for us equates to about 3,000 face shields. Um, Playmobil and Malta have sponsored the clear uh, A-patch sheet uh, in order to do the visor. We still have to, um, you know, get the uh, the straps. Then there's the other materials and the assembly. So yeah, it's costing us quite a bit of money. So if if you feel like you want to help out. I'm gonna leave a link for an Indiegogo campaign we're running in order to finance this because we're not selling these. We want to give them out for free to those who need it the most. And those are our heroes in the front line, the proper heroes, the nurses, the doctors, the police, those who are putting themselves on the line to protect us. FDM printing has never, ever been as important as it is right now because while big corporations and companies are, are scrambling to find a new way to design these quickly you know when spread out to the world um, we're the makers we have access to have the imprinters and we can actually help we can do something about it so check your localities check check whoever online facebook groups everyone is posting if you can help out if you have a 3d printer help your local authorities when need if you don't know where to start Try any purchasing department for any healthcare services that you want to help or the police. I would suggest with printing one, setting it up, giving it to them, let them see if they like it or not and see if they need any changes made to it. Start from there. Um, you don't want to just start printing a large quantity of these are there are thinner ones there are thicker ones there are different ones and then find out that they do not adhere to their requirements because at the moment it's not about you know if they're fda approved or whatever i don't know um it's their requirements it's what they need to be able to work with so this is how we got to this point it took three different versions but we'll finally there so yeah that's that's what i've been doing i've been putting all my projects on haul there are quite a few to do uh, i set up a paint booth or sort of like a paint station uh because i have quite a few models that i had to have to do uh, print and paint on with the pale polyphenol and also the Prusa SL1. I have um, Ready Printer 1, which I'm going to start printing as soon as uh, any printer frees up. Um, yeah, there's, there's like this, this is my priority right now. I mean, Malta is a very, very small country. Um, and if you look at the numbers, while we only have like 150 cases here, um, per capita, we're, we're even more than the United States when, when you, see the numbers so it's it's crazy for us because uh, we're we're a country which where our hospital has what 200 beds and we currently have 150 cases most of those are being kept at home in quarantine because you know we, we want to save the beds for you know the urgent cases so yeah back to this if you can help out uh, I will leave a few links in the video description where you can read more. I will leave a link to Joel's video so you can also watch more about this and see the other iterations on this, how it came about and how it's being distributed. If you happen to be Maltese and you have a 3D printer, please get in touch with Invent3D, help the cause and join this awesome army that we have put together here in Malta. And if you're anyone else and would still like to help us Maltese people, there's an Indiegogo link in the video description once again um, for those of you who want to spare 10 bucks and help us produce these. That is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, make sure you share this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Please stay safe. Practice social distancing. It's, you might feel healthy. Um, I, I feel healthy. I feel very strong. I've, I've been working out, although not the past few days I've been sort of working. But, anyway, um, it's, it, but it's not about you. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about the people close to us because I can go out, I can walk out I, and I might not care, but I have to care about the people that I'm going to affect because I don't want my daughter to get sick. I don't want my wife to get sick. I don't want my in-laws to get sick because the older generation are the most at risk. We're not saying we're not at risk. Everyone's at risk, but please practice social distancing. Stay home. I mean, you have a chance to save the world here and all you have to do is stay home. <laughs> like, stay home. And if you have a 3D printer, not only, but like, print and help out. So that is it for me today, guys. Thank you once again for watching and as always, happy making and stay safe.